The Way We Were, a 1973 film, takes you on a journey through the lives of two contrasting individuals exploring love, politics, and the challenges of staying true to oneself. But did you know there are numerous funny, shocking, and sad facts about the making of this movie? Keep watching to discover these lesser-known anecdotes. Have you ever wondered about the untold stories behind The Way We Were? Do you have a personal memory associated with the characters or scenes that resonates with you? Share your cherished experiences below. We'd love to hear your unique perspectives and memories. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic film? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below and let the conversation begin. The Way We Were holds a special place in many hearts and we want to hear yours. The 1973 film, directed by Sidney Pollack and starring Barbara Streisand and Robert Redford, left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape, resonating with audiences and influencing popular culture. Set against the backdrop of tumultuous times, the movie delves into the complexities of love, politics, and personal ideals. Upon its release, it received critical acclaim for its compelling narrative and stellar performances. Streisand's portrayal of Katie Morosky and Redford's portrayal of Hubble Gardner earned them accolades, solidifying their places as accomplished actors. The exploration of the challenges faced by its characters struck a chord with viewers, making it a relatable and enduring piece of storytelling. In terms of impact, it became a cultural touchstone, reflecting the zeitgeist of the 1970s. Its depiction of the political climate, particularly the McCarthy era, contributed to discussions on societal issues. The resonant theme song, performed by Streisand, further embedded itself in popular culture, becoming an iconic ballad that stands the test of time. Its influence extended beyond the silver screen, with spin-offs and adaptations adding to its legacy. The characters' stories were continued in a novelization and a sequel, exploring their lives in subsequent years. The movie's success also spawned merchandise, including soundtrack albums and posters, capitalizing on the public's connection to the characters and themes. Decades after its initial release, it continues to be referenced and revered. Its impact on romantic dramas and political films is evident in subsequent works that draw inspiration from its narrative depth. The movie's enduring popularity ensures its place in the annals of cinematic history and its exploration of love and ideals remains relevant to new generations. In conclusion, its reception during its time and its lasting impact on popular culture are testaments to the film's storytelling prowess and cultural significance. The exploration of love, politics, and personal convictions, coupled with memorable performances, ensures that it remains a captivating piece of cinematic history. The 1973 film, directed by Sidney Pollack, left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape, influencing subsequent TV shows, movies, and media. Released during a period marked by societal shifts and cultural evolution, it impacted storytelling, character dynamics, and narrative structure, palpable in the works that followed. One notable aspect of its influence is evident in the exploration of complex relationships. The film portrayed a nuanced and tumultuous romantic connection between its lead characters, with their dynamics resonating with creators and viewers alike, inspiring a wave of character-driven narratives in both film and television. Furthermore, the narrative structure, seamlessly weaving between past and present, provided a template for storytellers to experiment with non-linear timelines. This approach added depth and dimension to subsequent projects, with filmmakers and showrunners drawing inspiration from its masterful storytelling technique. Comparisons with other works of the era highlight the uniqueness of this influential piece. While contemporaneous films and TV shows often touched on societal changes and relationships, few achieved the emotional resonance and genuine connection established by it. Its influence can be seen in the way subsequent creators approached themes of love, identity, and the impact of external forces on personal lives. In the world of television, series that emerged post its release showcased a greater emphasis on character development and the exploration of interpersonal dynamics. Shows like Family and The Waltons incorporated similar elements of nostalgia and reflection on the past, drawing inspiration from its ability to capture the essence of a bygone era. In the realm of cinema, movies like Love Story and Annie Hall owe a debt to its portrayal of love in all its complexities. These films embrace the emotional depth and realism that the 1973 classic brought to the screen. In conclusion, its impact on subsequent TV shows, movies, and media is undeniable. 
Its exploration of complex relationships, innovative narrative structure, and emotional depth set a standard that resonated with audiences and inspired a generation of storytellers. Director Sidney Pollack, in his commentary, defended modifications to Arthur Lawrence's script for The Way We Were. Pollack contended that Lawrence's original portrayal of Hubble was one-dimensional and Robert Redford was hesitant to take on such a one-sided role. According to Pollack, equalizing the two leads was essential for effective drama. Initially resistant to singing in the film, Barbara Streisand was persuaded by Ray Stark to lend her voice. In a 2012 interview at the Brooklyn Academy of Music, Robert Redford acknowledged that the on-screen romantic tension between the characters was intensified by Streisand's off-screen crush on him during filming. Despite not reciprocating her feelings, Redford recognized her exceptional performance and chose to ignore her crush, prioritizing the quality of the film. The McCarthy Witch Hunt segment in the way we were initially had more screen time but was heavily edited. Vivek Alinforce and Murray Hamilton, initially significant roles, were reduced to brief appearances. Arthur Lawrence, the scriptwriter, fought to keep the exchange, I want us to love each other. The trouble is we do. Lawrence believed this line encapsulated the complex relationship between the characters. Despite his efforts, Sidney Pollack, the director, cut the line, leading Lawrence to criticize Pollack's understanding of both love and politics. Barbara Streisand and Robert Redford approached acting differently. Streisand favored extensive analysis and rehearsal, while Redford, a more intuitive actor, preferred spontaneity. Pollack, caught between their styles, had to navigate Streisand's detailed discussions and Redford's desire for a more spontaneous approach. Following a preview, Robert Redford expressed discontent with cuts made to the film, stating, I think we'd both have preferred a more political Dalton Trumbo-type script, but finally, Sidney came down on the side of the love story. He said, this is first and foremost a love affair, and we conceded that. We trusted his instincts, and he was right. The college scenes were filmed at Union College in Schenectady, New York, with the Knott Memorial serving as a prominent backdrop. Additionally, the restaurant scene where the main characters meet was shot at the old Medbury Hotel in Boston Spa, New York. In the film, Hubbell wears a silver star medal for bravery and combat and a purple heart for being wounded. This challenges the perception of his Washington job during the war, emphasizing that he was more than a mere desk-bound figure. These insights shed light on the film's development, location choices, and the nuanced portrayal of the main character's wartime experience. The way we were captures a balance between love and political context as envisioned by director Sidney Pollack and trusted by the cast, reflecting the intricate layers of its narrative. Arthur Lawrence fiercely advocated for retaining the line, people are their principles in the film, asserting its centrality to the entire political message. This line mirrored the ideological divide between Lawrence and his partner Farley Granger, which paralleled the character's dynamics in the movie. Granger's reluctance to disavow the Hollywood blacklist during the HUAC trials irreparably strained their relationship. The movie subtly weaves historical events, such as Mrs. Simpson's marriage to the Duke of Windsor in 1937 and the D-Day reference in 1944 into its narrative. The seven-year gap between Katie and Hubble's encounters at El Morocco adds a layer of temporal complexity, highlighting the passage of time and the evolution of their relationship. Director Sidney Pollack strategically incorporated a prologue before the main titles to ensure Barbara Streisand's introduction as a character, not just a singer. This decision aimed to set the tone and prioritize the narrative over Streisand's musical identity. In the intricate dance of adapting Lawrence's script, Pollack navigated the actor's distinct approaches, Streisand's analytical rehearsals, and Redford's preference for spontaneity. Redford's discontent with the initial cuts reflected a desire for a more politically charged script, ultimately trusting Pollack's emphasis on the love story. These insights into the film's creation, the political nuances embedded in the dialogue, and the deliberate temporal markers provide a deeper understanding of the way we were crafted by the collaborative efforts of the cast and director Sidney Pollack. Barbara Streisand and Robert Redford, despite their contrasting approaches to acting, developed a profound mutual respect while working on the way we were. Their divergent styles, mirroring the characters they portrayed, enriched the film's dynamics. Screenwriter Arthur Lawrence drew inspiration from his past relationship with actor Farley Granger, emphasizing their stark differences in religion and political ideology. Lawrence, frustrated by director Sidney Pollack's alterations, fiercely defended his original script during filming. 
Barbara Streisand consistently sided with Lawrence in disagreements, showcasing a strong alliance between them. Peter Bogdanovich declined the opportunity to direct the film, later expressing regret about his decision. The collaborative efforts of Streisand, Redford, and Lawrence shaped the movie's narrative, highlighting the depth of their commitment to the project. In conclusion, The Way We Were stands as a product of the unique collaboration between Streisand, Redford, and Lawrence, each contributing distinct perspectives to the film's creation. Their differences, both on and off screen, added layers to the narrative, resulting in a compelling cinematic experience. Dalton Trumbo, although uncredited, made a significant contribution to the script of The Way We Were. Robert Redford, in an interview, humorously shared that when asked about Barbara Streisand's attire during their first love scene, he replied, only Chanel no. Five, notably, when Streisand first heard the titular song, she embraced it but suggested two vital changes. She recommended a slight melodic shift, enhancing a crucial moment in the song, and proposed altering the opening line from Daydream's Light, the corners of my mind, to memories like the corners of my mind. These suggestions transformed the song into a more powerful piece. All these insights are drawn from a reputable website, offering a deeper understanding of the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the way we were.